I think the other big thing is coma. Drug-induced coma that's unintended for the patient is a really dangerous state. It's independently associated with mortality. It increases delirium. And, you know, certainly at our institution, you know, 10 years ago, we would have, um, you know, nurses might have found the patient to be agitated overnight or they perceived the patient not to be sleeping deeply enough or whatever. And so they would ramp up the sedatives overnight. And we would inherit a patient in the morning that was deeply sedated. Um, we couldn't do a spontaneous breathing trial in those patients. Um, and it's a really dangerous state and the mentality in the ICs at Tufts Medical Center has really become that it's a, um, almost a never event, that it should just not happen. It's a really dangerous state for the patient. So we were really focusing almost all of our patients on for a light level of sedation. We question the use of um, continuous infusions. There's a lot of patients that can be managed sometimes just with an analgesic, sort of an uh, analgesic analgo sedation approach, um, and we'll use a little PRN um, sedative. Um, and we really question, you know, each day, do we really need to give a continuous sedative to these patients? <laughs>